Hello, 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 it's Kathy Vidal of MyStampingSpot.com coming to you with 10 Minute Tuesday. I'm just trying to get enough light on the scene here because I am not in my usual spot. My desk is a mess with um, all kinds of creating for the appreciation event. I'm sorry, I'm taking a swig of water here. I don't have the samples with me here, but... Um, up above this post is a link to my Valentine's class and my Stamp Club by Mail. They are awesome values. You're getting a lot of cards and a lot of products, and the Valentine's class even comes with the candy. So, okay, let's do our quick 10 minutes. So today I am working with Playing in the Rain. This is a great set. Because it's 10 Minute Tuesday, I'm not even going to stamp. We will do some of that next week. I have a Black Memento. I have this new ribbon, which is, um, it's in the spring catalog. I haven't even opened it yet. Hopefully it matches what I think it's going to. Ooh, it's thick, and it's kind of velvety. It's called Vogue Faux Velvet Trim, and the color is Pale Papaya. I love that. Isn't that nice? Okay, I am working with the... Dandy Designs 12 by 12 paper. I'm sure you've seen me show this. This is a huge block of paper. I think there's 48 sheets in here. Um, it's great if you ever want to mass produce cards because you get a lot of the same sheets. I'm not going to go through them, going through them pretty quickly. I actually think I'm missing some sheets in here for different cards and clubs that I've done, but you get the idea. There's a lot going on in here. So I've chosen this piece. I love this piece. And because I want to use the Playing in the Rain stamp set, I have the, the DSP that corresponds with it. Now, clearly, I've done a lot of cutting. <laughs> so these missing pieces are this character in different color raincoats. Um, they're in my stamp club by mail. So we have cut out all the pieces for that. And then there's these ones. Now every page has, I hope it's coming up, like a glossiness to it. This one does as well. Hopefully you can see it. And the backs are pretty. Those almost look like raindrops, different colors. This has just a, like a pretty pink stripe. And um, what's on this one? This is my favorite. This would be great if you were a scrapbooker. But even if you weren't a scrapbooker, you could cut a three inch of just the flowers, a three inch of the flowers and the sky, and a three inch of just the sky, or maybe four, 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 and four. Let's do that so you can see. I'm brave. I'll do this. <laughs> then you don't have to worry about being brave. You can see that it's pretty. So there we have cards. There's four inches. And say we cut them at five and a quarter or whatever. And then this one would give you a completely different card. And this would give you another card. Look at this. Watch this. You put these. I'm cutting these at five and a quarter, which is like your next standard layer. Now, how different would that be from that to that? Wouldn't those make three great cards all using the same pack of paper? Hey, Kathy, how are you, Pat? Good morning. Good afternoon here, really. Um, so anyway, don't be afraid of these big pieces. I know sometimes people shy away from them. But that's how you could effectively use this if you were not a scrapbooker. And again, the clouds have that um, gloss to them, to outline them. So they're really very pretty. Here's a, another sheet of the characters. I love Stampin' Up's DSP. And I have to admit, I intended to bring over the dies that went with this set. And I forgot 
I do think that the dies cut some of the characters specifically on these sheets, but I'm not 100% sure. So, I will get back to you on that. I will let you know. All right, let's put this DSP away because I have what I want. What I did was see this little guy here? I think he is so fun. I cut him out previous to being here so you didn't have to watch me. Hi, Pat, Kathy, Mary, how are you all? Jennifer, thanks for being here. So, look, in this circumstance, how cute would he be walking through the field of flowers? Or walking through this field of flowers? So cute, right? All right, I picked him because he matched this piece of paper that I wanted to use. And I think this is my favorite piece in that whole suite. Of course, I forgot a piece of white cardstock. However, behind me is a card base that I already cut. So this was an eight and a half by 11. I scored it at four and a quarter and I cut it in half. That gave me two card bases. So all I need to do is fold that up and I'm gonna cut my next layer. I have a dimensional on here. Don't they stick to everything, these little dimensional backings? I find they stick to everything. Okay, the next layer is going to be just a standard four by five and a quarter. We have to make 10 minute Tuesday 10 minutes for a change. Lately, I've been going very long. All right. I forgot to bring over a tape runner. So hopefully my Tombow is going to cooperate with me. First, though, I think, let's see here. I want to see what this tie is like. You know how sometimes ribbons that aren't two-sided, they tie funny? This is, yeah, see, I'm going to get that look. So I'm not going to do that. I think what I might do... Maybe that kind of bow. I don't know if it goes with my little character, though. So, spoiler alert. We're going to use the Label Me Lovely punch. And I want to stamp a greeting on here. And I want to put my little guy on here. And I just wanted... Oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to cut a small piece and zigzag it behind it. So let's put a greeting on here. How about raindrops are better with you? Isn't that cute? And I'm just going to use a black ink. Nothing fancy. Reaching for a block. Raindrops are better with you. Now I have to put this crooked because my block is a little too small for the stamp. And you may have heard me say before... I prefer the smaller blocks even if, even if I have to turn the block at an angle because I have small hands and for me it just works better. Okay, let's see here. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to put him. Yeah, maybe we'll do this. I didn't bring over any bling. So. Now, you could turn your punch either way. I'm going to leave the straight sides on the sides and leave the decorative part at the top and bottom. Let's hope this is straight. How do we do? Oh, not too bad. Not too shabby. All right. Let's put some glue on here. Probably don't need that much glue. That right there looks like a kindergarten project. Every kindergartner in the world. Okay. Well, it's the one good thing about a liquid glue is you can adjust it after it's down. Okay. Now my thought was I may just angle this ribbon like that and do just a couple of cuts like that. Love this ribbon. I love a nice thick ribbon. And maybe have it just kind of hang out underneath. Whoops, my fingers sticking to my fingers. Like that. 
put that on there and then we just have to figure out where to sit our our little guy we could sit him at the top I kind of thought I wanted to put him off center like that so let's first attach our ribbon and I am going to use liquid glue but I'm sometimes liquid glue shows through ribbons and it's not so pretty and I want the bottom of my ribbons to be um, free to move around. So I'm just adding the liquid glue at the top of the ribbons. Now we are going to need dimensionals. These are baby dimensionals. We need full size dimensionals. This is a big puppy. And we're going to put some dimensionals on the back of this. Like so. Now, like I said, this guy may, the die may fit him, and I apologize that I didn't think to bring the dies over. So I will go back and check that out, and when I post a picture of this later, I will let you know for sure. And I'm going to put that right over the top, like that. And then I think I'm going to put him up on dimensionals, kind of off to the side. And then I think we just need some bling. So, little trick, if you are hand cutting, do you see how this has a very thin umbrella handle? See how I, I gave it the illusion that it was cut much deeper, but it's, it's actually much fatter through here at the stem, hey Kim, than it is anywhere else on my little critter. So I have much less white all around the perimeter when I hand trimmed it, but I left this thicker intentionally. So I'm going to put his feet down here so that his tail takes up a lot of the label, just so there isn't so much white. Let me grab some bling. I didn't bring any over. Let's see what we have. Oh, this is what we need. Pastel adhesive back sequence. These are great. And they're the right colors. Okay, I'm going to use these pinks. And I like the adhesive back sequence because you can pull them off with your fingers and still get them adhered to your card. You don't necessarily need um, you don't necessarily need a tool to do it. There we go. Maybe I will put one up here as well. Whoops, he flipped over. Oh, and then he flipped back. So there you go. What do you think? Quick and easy today, right? Okay, I am getting ready for my appreciation event. If you did not sign up, I'm sorry. It is too late to get your card packets. But please, please, please check on the 19th. That's a Thursday. I will post everything needed to complete projects that day and you can get products together and uh, work with me and all day long I'll be showing you all kinds of fun stuff and pulling prizes and making all kinds of samples and all kinds of stuff so on the 19th look for in an ingredients list and uh, then come back at 8 a.m. on the 21st which is Saturday morning that's Eastern time. Now listen, if you miss anything, don't worry. Everything will be on Facebook. It'll all be saved and you can come back all day long. So uh, be looking for that. And don't forget, check out my Valentine's and my Stamp Club by Mail, which is posted at the top of this video. And listen, have a great day. Oh, I'm so glad you signed up for Missouri. Thank you very much. All right. I will see you all. I won't see you tomorrow. I will see you Thursday for Thankful Thursday. Have a great day, everybody. Bye.